So we have talked a little bit about different types of communications and the fact that you have to consider them all um, when you're dealing with security. Um, and this may, this may be frustrating because uh, for those of you in the, you know, who have come into the field recently, um, it seems like, okay, you know, what does it matter? Everybody uses the same uh, type of communications. Uh, nobody sets up wide area networks anymore. Everybody uses the internet for their wide area networking. Uh, and, you know, these, these types of issues, you know, what's the difference between a local area network? Who cares? You know, you, you just get on your cell phone and, and do your thing. And yes, that that is the reality, superficially at least. But the the different types of communications networks and, and knowing the underlying protocols and the development of the different protocols, even if some of them are not used anymore, gives you a much better understanding in terms of how to protect. When you understand the communication systems right down to the physical layer, right down to the physics of how you are transmitting a signal and how that signal can be modified in such a way as to represent data, um, that lets you understand how people can intercept your communications, um, how people can interfere with your communications and perhaps uh, jam your communications, deny you communication service because of the, uh, the technology that is being used. And, and so that um, gives you a better idea, better understanding of the risk and how to protect against different types of attacks. Um, I, yeah, it, it can be uh, frustrating, you know, thinking that, you know, all of this stuff is old technology. Why do we have to know that? Well, uh, you don't really have to know it, but if you do, you understand at a more fundamental level and that informs your ability to do the analysis, the, the risk analysis, the threat analysis, the assessment of new technologies as they come along and are proposed to you. You know, this is the latest and greatest uh, form of communications. Well, why? And, um, you know, is it really uh, better, particularly in terms of security, which tends not to be an immediate interest to people who are proposing new technologies. So, um, understanding uh, the, the different technologies that have been used in different types of networks, understanding um, what people did in years gone by for wide area networks before, as I say, everybody switched over to using the internet. What people did in terms of local area networks, and even to the smaller extent, the uh, personal area networks that uh, people are setting up with, with Bluetooth, um, so that you're Again, you know, you're, you've got your phone, you've got your earpiece for your phone, you've got a separate, uh, physically separate uh, microphone for your phone, you've got uh, storage in your pocket that you are using uh, for your phone, or, you know, you're, you're getting your information over your watch, uh, even though it's coming through your phone. Understanding the difference... Um, even at a very fundamental uh, level, what is the difference between a text sent by text, by message, uh, or, you know, whatever it is called that uses SMS, short message service, 
through the cell network. Uh, what is the difference in, in between that technology and WhatsApp, which is using the internet? And so it's using a data channel, even though the data channel is being provided by the cell or mobile service provider. Um, it is a different technology. As a matter of fact, it gets even closer than that because um, the text channel uh, is the administrative channel and the data provided uh, by your cell or mobile provider is generally speaking over the administrative channel as well. Um, so it's, you know, it, it does... It is confusing, and yet there are differences. And the differences uh, inform you in terms of the risks. How reliable is this? You know, is the data likely to go down? Is the voice channel likely to go down? Um, in, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in, in business continuity, but in a situation where we're dealing with um, uh, a, a regional disaster and like I say, you know, everybody picks up their cell phone everybody tries to place a call and nobody gets through, at least in terms of the voice calls but the uh, texts, because they go over the administrative channel tend to be more robust, they, they um, I mean, it's not reliable by any means, but if you cannot get a voice call through, you may be able to get a text through. And, uh, you know, like, that's something you can consider. If you, if you understand the, the differences in the technologies, the differences in the types of networks, the differences in how the networks actually do communicate. So, uh, it is worthwhile knowing this old stuff it it will help you understand more deeply and make better decisions